Maniacer and welcome to my channel. So today I am looking at Storybooks Little Women. This is so adorable. So this is a tiny little version that is a monthly or bi-monthly subscription by Storybook Cosmetics and it comes with a little bookmark that kind of just goes into what is in the eyeshadows. This is made in the USA, which I absolutely like, and it's out of Omaha, Nebraska. So go Cornhuskers, right? So Little Women is a book by Louisa M. Alcott that is kind of one of those long-term classic books. And so I just think it's absolutely adorable that they came up with this little collection. So let's take a peek on the inside. When you look on the inside, we've got a, a good size mirror that as you're getting ready, you can totally use. It just makes it, basically I see about this much of my face, which is fantastic um, as far as if you're traveling. The interior has three different eyeshadows. We have Meg, Beth, and Amy, and then we have a lippy. So I have all three of the eyeshadows on today. We have Meg all over the eyelid we have Beth kind of surrounding it and then we have Amy on the lower lash line now I understand what they're trying to do make this little and cute and kind of a bi-monthly subscription and you're gonna see me play with the colors in just a minute as I do this eye look I had a little bit of a hard time with the eye colors so I think as far as a collector's item this is absolutely adorable and stunning for every day that's where I'm gonna have a little bit of a hard time with it the lippy I have on it goes on really smooth I love 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 this color I think it's it's super pretty it's just a nice kind of a neutral lip a little bit of a, a neutral lip with a hint of a rose so I really like this this I could see using every day now the trouble I, I have with the eye palette is the colors so I think the colors are reminiscent of that time as far as little women go with the green and the the kind of raspberry color but for me I don't just use three colors and so I need something a little light for up underneath the brow bone, which I used a Mary Kay color. Maybe it's just because I'm not used to doing a lighter eye. This was a little bit harder for me, so I went in with a little bit thicker of an eyeliner to give it a little bit of pack a punch. But I felt like I almost needed a five color palette. So, you know, I kind of need a lighter and then I would have loved kind of a darker maybe to go in there, but I love dark eyes. So what can I say? So trying a lighter eye was harder. I did make sure that I put on false eyelashes to give it a little bit more of a punch, which I know a lot of women don't wear, like dark makeup like I do. So maybe this is for someone that really likes the lighter eye or feels more comfortable with the lighter eye. I just had trouble using three colors. I need, so with me, the downside to this palette is I know I'm going to have to pull in other colors, period. Um, the, these two seem to match, or these two seem to match, but having that third color just didn't seem cohesive for an eye look. Maybe for a print, um, fabric, etc., these would go really easy together, but for me, I just had a hard time figuring out okay, if I use these two, what do I do with the third? Or if I use these two, what do I do with the third? And then again, not having those fourth or fifth color just kind of really threw me. So as far as um, you're going to have to pull in other palettes to go with this one because the three colors just aren't going to be enough to complete an eye look. I could be wrong. Um, I'm hoping to go out on Pinterest or YouTube and see what some other ladies did with it because I just had kind of a creative block. Now, as far as the pigmentation goes, I really like the pigmentation. I think it went on super nice. So as far as the green goes, it went on really good. Um, this, I think that color was Meg. Meg went on really good. Beth was probably my most favorite color. I can see using Beth almost daily because it just has a really nice warm mid-tone color. Something that you're going to want to use in your transition or your crease, no matter what color skin you have. I just think Beth is going to be the most 
easy to transition and use no matter what your skin tone is. Meg I think is a, probably a little bit harder unless you like bright greens just because bright greens are a little bit kind of harder to match or I don't know basically the the lighter greens are just a little bit harder to use maybe just for me some of you guys might be like I don't know what you're talking about that apple green is easy to use I've only been able to use the apple green in one other palette and but they also put colors next to it that made using the appleish green color super easy when this apple green and this palette and some of the other ones it's just kind of so kind of a odd color that you don't really know what to do with it unless you're a professional and I'm not a professional now Amy is one as far as if you like pinks you're gonna like Amy so Amy is who I have on the lower lash line typically when I I don't necessarily like the raspberry on the lower lash line unless I kind of try to put some raspberry up top but today it worked fine so I think Amy and Beth are going to do good together or Meg and Beth do good together but just having the three colors was really difficult to use but as far as putting it on my shelf with the other storybook collectibles that I have I'm going to have no problem with it so I'm going to see how this subscription goes I want to continue to be a part of the the subscription see what other kind of products they put out because the the shadows are actually really good and easy to use with I just maybe wish there'd be a five shadow instead of three I don't know tell me what your thoughts are have you purchased this uh, first storybook cosmetic subscription what are your thoughts tell me what you think about pairing the the three colors did I do an okay job it's okay to say I don't but what would you have done different with these three colors than I did because obviously I was struggling a little bit it, and again storybook cosmetics I really like their their quality I think they do a good job with their eyeshadows I haven't had any trouble with them they don't make my eyes water which is thank you very much um, that's really nice so yeah tell me what your kind of thoughts are what would you have done different Give me some ideas because I'd really like to play with this We're going to get started using our Little Women from Storybook Cosmetics. Look how tiny and cute that is. I love that it's a little book and they still give you a little bookmark to go in there. And off to my left, your right, I've got several of the Storybook Cosmetics items there. So this will be just a cute one to add to there. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with the three colors, although I feel like I'm going to need to pull in a another color from another palette to complete it, but we'll see. We'll see. So, yeah, I'm not sure what to do. We're going to start out with Beth because I feel like I need, ooh, look at Beth. Go, Beth. I feel like I'm going to need more than three colors. I think I'm going to take the color Meg, which is this green. We're going to pop that on the eyelid. Meg and Beth seem to go very well together. I'm going to just pick up some more Beth and kind of blend out where I put in Meg. I feel like two of the, the girls will always match and the third one's like an outsider. I feel like three is a crowd with this one. I just feel like Amy is the third person out. All right, we're going to pick up. We'll go along where I stuck my finger in it. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have. That's got a lot of fallout. Okay, so Amy I have on basically two thirds of the eye. I'm going to pick up a flat but fluffy brush and go back in with Beth. On the upper eyes, I'm going to use the L'Oreal. This is in the color Espresso, and I've got that on an angle brush. All right, y'all. So those are my my thoughts after I use this. And if you have any questions, etc., please add those below. I appreciate you always being a part of my channel and I hope you have a wonderful day.